Hi everyone, in the following video we will go over a very important area within the back end of Como and we are going to talk about the flow themes area. The following area has a lot of impact on your website design. This is where you'll be managing the entire appearance and visuals of your website. So first things first, whenever you click on the flow themes um, menu over here, you're taken to the general description or the general settings. Now within these general settings essentially it starts off by uh, allowing you to select one of the predefined style kit options. Now as you know we have the dark version and we have the light version as well. So here they are featured within our demo. Here we have the dark version of Como and here we have the light version of Como. All right, so you can select uh, the style kit options over here. Next off, we have your background areas. You can manage your website background, uh, your card list backgrounds. All of the backgrounds related to the website are managed within this area here. So you can select colors, you can upload custom backgrounds, whatever it may be, you can add all of that here. All right, next off, we have our colors settings. The color settings is related to your menu colors, your text colors, links colors, uh, and so forth. So you can simply scroll down and see all of the settings that we have uh, over here to manage, uh, for example, like even the about page text color or the about page title color, the background color, etc. So once again, all of the settings are managed within this area over here. Next off, we have our titles and links. The following area manages certain buttons and labels, for example, like read more. That can be changed to view more, continue reading, uh, back to home. Uh, you can change your blog page title to be daily diary or my journal, whatever it may be. You can change all of the titles and link titles within this area over here as well. All right. Next off, we have the social media area. The following area is where you manage all of your social media networks and links that you add within the website. You can remove, you can add new, new social media networks. Once again, everything social media related is managed within this area over here. Next off, we have a spacing and width. Uh, this is essentially related right now to blog posts, where you can set the distance between the images once you upload them into a single column. All right, an area over here called analytics. Uh, this is for uh, Google Analytics. You add in your tracking code. This enables you to receive data and information about the traffic to your website, how many people visit on a daily or annual basis, and all of the stats related to that. Next off, we have an area called Favicon. This is something that you can upload. This is pretty much this little icon that we have uh, within our flow themes. You can upload your own little custom icon to correspond with your branding. Next off, we have the admin bar. Uh, this is fairly easy and simple. You can either enable or, uh, or disable the following admin bar. So once again, it's just a very small switch over here. Import, export. You can import or export your content from one website, import it to another. Uh, if you're importing content from an older website, this is also where you uh, import that information. Okay. Scrolling further down, we have header and logo settings. This is where you'll find every single layout we have for the logo and the headers as well. So we have menus. Next off, we have our logo settings over here. So you can upload your custom logo. You can set max widths for the logo on desktops, on mobiles, and so forth. So all of these details related to logo specifically is within header and logo settings. And then we have the general settings where you can enable or disable the scroll down button, uh, search, and the header as well. Content settings. Uh, this area over here is related pretty much to um, every single page layout that you will have. Uh, for example, like your blog listings page, you can select the layouts over here, enable, disable searches, and so forth. So everything that has to do with uh, specific layouts of the website, of, of specific pages, all of that is managed within this area over here. For example, even selecting like simple fonts within the blog page, all of that is managed within this area here as well. And the same applies to 
uh, for example, blog posts, galleries, your general pages. Uh, you can create a custom f uh, error page or the 404 page. Uh, you manage your sidebars here as, here as well. You can select the width of your sidebars and so forth. So everything that is content uh, related, you're able to manage here. And then, of course, uh, including image settings or image sizes. This is also very important um, to manage as well. And over here in this area, you are able to set the width of your homepage full uh, full width images. Next off, we have the various card layout options as well. So you can set your uh, vertical, horizontal, grid images. All of that information is managed over here. Finally, we have the footer settings. And essentially, you can add in your copyright text just add in a custom copyright text over here. Uh, pretty easy and simple typography. Uh, this is essentially where you manage all of the fonts and the text related to your website. So we've tried to simplify it for you. We've categorized them. We have the general menu font that you can select your own font posts, which is your blog post and page title fonts that is managed here and then the general font which means just general blog content uh, general page description all of those fonts used within the website are managed here and the next off we have advanced fonts is scrolling down you're able to select fonts for uh, for example header one header two fonts a certain input fonts blog posts uh, meta font all of that information is managed here as well as well as your contact page headings uh, widget typography all every single font on the website is managed within the typography advanced fonts area okay and then for more advanced users uh, this is the area where you will be adding your custom css codes and for those of you who are using custom fonts or want to upload custom fonts to the website, this is the area where to do it. You simply go here, click on Add Font, and you're able to add in a font from your computer uh, to use within the website. So uh, once again, this is just a quick overview of what the flow theme settings looks like. Of course, we have the following links over here to help you get started. We have the documentation links. Uh, we have the quick setup link, which can also be very useful if you're looking just to set up your website in a few uh, simple steps. And then any other updates and news uh, support links also you can find within this top menu over here. So this is a quick overview and introduction into the flow theme settings. Uh, we do hope this helps uh, to give you a better idea of where you need to go in order to customize and manage certain areas of your website.